uh, welcome back to the channel and then on this video we are going to look at vux 25 index uh from the daily chart from daily chart to the lowest time frame so uh what we do on this one we focus on the current market structure as you can see we have been pushing to the downside from this area here we have been pushing to the upside and then we came to the downside after we broke structure around this point so you can just draw out like the overall structures like from this point to the lows just like this but what i'll, what I'll do is that i'll just focus on this structure here of which we have this descending channel this large descending channel like just like this and then we have two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom so we have structure within this overall uh, movement to the downside we have this high point of which is in line with the third touch just because we focus on this touch here this touch here and then we can expect a third touch for us to look for those selling opportunities as i said this is the first touch second touch and then we can have the third touch for us to look for selling opportunities around here as you can see we are just following structure just because the overall move from the daily time frame we are looking for those selling opportunities from here to here for us to get like the final third touch of which it will complete like the overall movement so what i'll do is that i'll focus on the inner structures and then the inner structure that we have around this point is this one here in a form of an ascending channel and then as you can see the ascending channel is in line with the overall market structure just because if we get like a tap around this point we have a double top and then we can sell off from there and then if we have that mass psychology activation of which it can happen around this point it will be creating that, that touch whereby we can evolve the structure just like this and then we look for those nice selling opportunities around this point depending on where we're going to get like the, those selling opportunities but as you can see we are looking for those selling opportunities and then moving to a lower time frame of which is the four hour so on the four hour time frame what i'll do is that i'll just refine each and every uh, trend line that we have here so that we can just focus like on the current structures so we have this uh, ascending channel whereby it is trying to expand on its way to the top which means that we will have like some type of price action moving to the upside in this type of formation whereby we get like a running channel to the top of the structure whereby we can create like that ascending channel whereby we can look for those uh, selling opportunities just because we have that mass psychology activation around this point we have the double top as you can see let me just make it visible around this area here we have the double top in a form of a mass psychology activation whereby we can look for those selling opportunities whereby we wait for that push to the downside if you're into low risk entries and then you can wait for that first tight flag of which is six to eight hours after six hours then you can place like yourself just below this point and then your stop loss can be just above this area you're targeting the lows as you can see you have 2.49 percent of which you can just move uh your entry at stop loss at around one percent then you can move your stop loss to break even and then you let the overall trade run up until we break structures then that is when you can move like the stop loss into profit then you can trade like your uh, stop loss into profits so uh the overall target on this one is at around eight point something percent eight point one three percent and then on the hour chart so on the hour chart we are just focusing on the same things the mass psychology activation of which it's at the double top or initially we can get like a tab on the third touch of which it will be in line with the outer structures of which the overall move is our selling opportunities of which is here so initially you can look for a risk entry around here then if you are not into risk entries you can take the first tight flag and then if the market decides to push to the upside same scenario risk entry if you're not into risk entries wait for the push to the downside six to eight hours tight flag around this point then you look for those nice selling opportunities just like that so that is it for volatility 